This video is brought to you by Adentro. About 4 years ago I did my first DNA test and I made a video about it on this channel. And the results surprised me quite a lot. Baltic 48.7 East European 42.6 plus 2 others 8.7 Baltic? I did my test with my heritage DNA. For me as a Russian guy who thought he's pretty vanilla Russian, finding out that I'm actually supposedly 48% Baltic and only 42% Eastern European was pretty insane, as well as being 5% Greek. I'm 5.3% Greek, dude. Oh my god, I gotta go to Greece. <laughs> The only part that did make sense to me was Central Asia, because where I come from Russia, we're basically at the border with Kazakhstan. However, I was always skeptical of these results, and the DNA company Adentro reached out to me and said that I could upload my results from my heritage onto their website and see something quite different. And not only find out something interesting about my ancestry, but also about other parts of my rich Russian DNA. So in today's video, I, Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, I'm going to be trying to get down to the bottom of the DNA myth and find out my true roots. So here I am on the Adentro website, but before I mention anything else, let's dive in right into my genetics. Okay guys, so uh... <laughs> this is it. This is where I'm ending my channel. <laughs> yes guys, I've been lying to you all along, I'm not actually Russian. The thing is, this is the same exact data that I uploaded from my heritage, but different DNA companies use different technologies and algorithms to process these results. That doesn't really mean that this or that company is wrong, it just means that this stuff is pretty complicated. But yeah guys, we can see that my genetics show me that I'm actually 31% Ukrainian or Moldovan. And that I'm only 21% Russian. Then we have, of course, Baltic, 13%, Estonian, Lithuanian, exactly just like my last video, but also, we have 35% Anatolia and South Caucasus. Essentially, I might be Turkish, Armenian, Georgian, or Azerbaijani or something. Which I would say, you know, is poetic, because I actually currently live in Georgia, so yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> I'm actually in my homeland, of course. And we also have 1% Greek and Balkan. Yeah. You are weak sperm, you are weak sperm. This is the strong sperm, this is the Greek god, okay, Greek god. So basically, you guys, I got the ultimate mix of people that hate each other. I'm Greek and Turkish, I'm Russian and Ukrainian at the same time. <laughs> and I'm also Baltic, isn't this just beautiful? Lithuania ruled the Slavs, you don't like that, it's too fucking bad, but it's true. For fucking hundreds of fucking years. Now, I actually have something about my real ancestry that I want to show to you guys. Before that, I just want to say that any of you, if you've ever taken any sort of DNA test before, for example, 23andMe, MyHeritage, etc., you can actually upload your own data to Add and Troll for free, and you'll be able to access your ancient admixture, which I'm actually gonna take a look at a little bit later, and also your susceptibility and prognosis of COVID, because people at Add and Troll want you to stay healthy. But if you want to have access to other modules, for example, nutrition and fitness, behavior and health, then you have to pay for the full reports. Very thankfully though, guys, I have a special discount code. If you answer Roman Raw at your checkout, you get 10% off. Oh yeah, and I also have a 10% off code for their actual DNA kits. Use code ROMAN at your checkout to get the discounts. I know, guys, I got the discounts. Isn't that amazing? But yes, getting back to my genetic makeup, I want to show you guys this, which is actually my real birth certificate. And the truth about my birth certificate is that, under my parents, in their nationalities, it states that my father is Russian and my mother is Ukrainian. But also my mom's maiden last name and the last name of her entire side of the family is Ukrainian. I honestly have never thought about this and I don't actually know if I have any relatives in Ukraine. But yeah guys, clearly they're onto something here with the 31% Ukraine and Moldova. <laughs> because I have the documents to prove that I'm supposedly part Ukrainian. I cannot wait for all the conspiracy theories that the reason why I actually dislike Putin is because I've been Ukrainian this entire time. But yeah, also in Ancestry we can here go to ancient admixture, explore the traces that ancient migratory movements have left in your DNA. With this analysis, we'll help you understand how various regions of the world have contributed to your unique genetic heritage. And as you can see, I have a lot of West Eurasian, just a tiny bit of Amerindian, South Asian and East Asian. Majority is West Eurasia though. Clearly my ancestors didn't move that much. <laughs> And actually what's cool about that intro as well is that your information is rather private because they actually don't do family searches because they don't want other users to have access and to be able to see your information in any way. But yeah, privacy is always great. And another thing we have here is the heterozygosity ratio, which to put it short shows your genetic variability and having higher genetic variability is protective against recessive diseases. 
Apparently, my score of heterozygosity is 1.26% uh, above the European average. So, uh, I guess to put that in layman terms, I am 126% uh, less inbred than the average European. So, uh... <laughs> Great, that's great to know, you know, these Europeans and their incest, like, come on, guys. But what's actually cool about that intro is that in any of these, you can actually go and read the original study regarding this, so if you want to really go deep and nerdy into it, you can actually really understand your results. And actually, another thing that could help you with understanding your results is that in their community tab, they actually have this little thing here called Gene AI, which is essentially a chatbot that I can ask anything. So, what is my recommended diet to lose weight because that's really relevant for me and here gives me an answer saying according to my genetic profile your body has high efficiency in processing high protein diets and you can go and read more about that but pretty cool pretty innovative stuff you know i've never seen any other dna company have something like this on their website Okay, what should we look at next? I'm thinking behavior. So this is behavioral genetics. So it shows that I tend to be not very agreeable, which uh, honestly, I would agree. My neuroticism is uh, more than average, <laughs> more than above average. And according to this, my genetic personality is console. I've actually never taken this test, so I don't know how accurate this is, but am I caring? Maybe. Am I social? Sure. Am I popular? <sighs> come on, guys, come on, guys. Billions of subscribers, legend of YouTube, me. That's me. I'm popular. Let's take a look at my addictions, hormones, and risk. So I have a low predisposition to gambling. That's actually very true. I never gamble. Fuck that. And I would not do it. The only times I've ever gambled was on CSGO Wild when I was getting sponsored. Back in the Disney, you know. My nicotine consumption is medium. And my cannabis consumption is medium. And my alcohol consumption is medium. Which, you know, as a Russian or... Whoever I am, I thoroughly disagree. <laughs> but no, seriously, I wouldn't really call myself a very addictive person. I've never struggled with addiction to alcohol personally at all. I did struggle with nicotine and cannabis consumption though, and uh, I gotta be honest, I'm struggling with it now. <laughs> And my genetic predisposition to caffeine consumption is medium to low, which I actually agree with as well. Coffee is... I don't care about coffee that much. The hormones happiness quartet, what is this? Yeah, my, my dopamine is pretty low, my endorphin is off the fucking charts though, apparently. <laughs> wow, dude, wow. <laughs> I am a fucking... I am a sociopath, basically. That's, that's, what this, that's what this really means, I think. <laughs> and my serotonin level is... Wow. Now that makes a lot of sense, honestly. And my uh, risk-taking behavior is basically non-existent. Yes, I'm a little pussy. That was great, very insightful. And actually what's interesting here is that they keep adding stuff. First, with that intro gave me access to the website, they didn't have this breast cancer thing, and now they do. So they constantly keep adding new stuff, which is awesome as well. But yeah, let's check out my health, digestive system. Oof, oof, that doesn't look good. That does not look good. Holy fuck. <laughs> Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna fucking die. Uh, I actually have had issues with my thyroid glands. It was enlarged. I also had very high blood sugar levels, and I was not diabetic, but close to it, kind of. I'm apparently not anymore. But yes, yeah, seeing that I have um, a pretty high predisposition to thyroid cancer, and seeing how I've already had troubles with this, yeah, uh, makes you think. But, uh... <laughs> Type 2 diabetes with enzocrine as well, glucose and blood sugar. Yeah, my grandma actually has diabetes. This also makes a lot of sense here. Okay, we have a bunch of nervous stuff here as well. So, ADHD actually shows that I'm more protected than average. Interesting, but I've been diagnosed. Maybe I need a new doctor. Schizophrenia is low, that's good to know. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. G oh my god, okay. Then also have higher than average tourist syndrome. Uh, I do have some ticks on the low. They're very minor. You probably would never notice if you talk to me, but I do have slight ticks. Sometimes I make weird sounds like <coughs> shit like that. And yeah, a lot of the time I'm just sitting and I'm like, you know what I mean? Fucking annoying, but I can't stop. And insomnia, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm literally like up there. I never sleep, because sleep is the cousin of death. But yeah, I would say this is awesome. I mean, other than the fact that I just found out multiple ways in which I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, this actually could be very useful for you actually checking up on your health and potentially treating or preventing diseases, so look out for yourself. And we also have pharmacogenetics, which shows that... Oh, that's really interesting. It actually shows if certain medicine could either cause you a bad drug response or could be actually very efficient for you. There's even antidepressants here, which is really, really interesting. 
And yeah guys, pretty much like I already said in this video, all of these results that were seen actually based on my my heritage DNA test that I did. But if you want to get even more accurate results, then the add and troll kit is 10% uh, off with the code ROMAN. Just reminding you guys, okay? And now that we checked out all of that, I wanna check out my nutrition as well. My predisposition to obesity is unfortunately high. I can vouch for that, for sure. I mean, I was a fat ass for my pretty much inside childhood and teenage years. I'm not exactly super skinny right now, although I was skinnier for a while. And yeah, I would say it's pretty easy for me to gain weight. My fats are burned slow, my metabolism is slow, and my appetite is slightly lower than average, apparently. Don't agree with that. At least when I'm high, my, uh, my appetite goes right here, I would say. <laughs> and we actually can also check out some sport info, which could be useful for your gym rats out there. And apparently my recommended sports are powerlifting, which actually I've heard from people. Many people said this to me all the time because I'm like a tall guy with like wide ass hips. However, you know, yeah, this is like, this is the extent of my muscle right here. Like whatever the fuck this is. I haven't been to the gym in months. And apparently powerlifting would work for me. And we also have predisposition to inch. <laughs> Come on, no, this is too real. What the fuck? The reason why I'm laughing is because I literally li ripped a fucking ligament here when I was playing like volleyball in first year of uni. And I was literally in a cast for like months. <laughs> I did get to study from home though, before COVID hit, before it was mainstream essentially. But yes, this is real right here. I gotta watch out for my feet and ankles, man. Or else how am I gonna sell feed pics when this channel eventually dies, you know? I need to make a living somehow. But yeah, and last but not least, Adam Scholz has a community tab in which you have things that were just added or more fun things such as Gene AI, which I showed you. Discover your genetic bonsai. What is that? Okay, so they basically make up a bonsai tree based on your DNA data as a 3D model, which is pretty fucking interesting, actually. Again, this is why I like Adam Troll. They're doing, like, cool shit. Oh, wow. Nice. That is aesthetic as fuck. I like that. I like that. You can flip it around as well. That's nice. And this community tab is actually also available for free if you upload your data from another website. And there's also the lab section that features even more stuff. For example, skincare, sleep recommendations, and there's even more. I mean, did you know? Weekly fun facts. Regarding your genetics, your insomnia predisposition is high. <laughs> I love that for me. Anyways guys, what do I have to say after checking all of that out? DNA is fascinating and once again guys, I am proud to be coming out as a proud Ukrainian, Turk, Russian, uh, Greek, Baltic gentleman. It's amazing. I will be looking at this stuff again because I'm actually gonna do their DNA test as well. And I'm actually not gonna do it alone, I'm gonna do it with a special guest, but uh, that will come later. But yes guys, in the end, once again, if you'd like to get a 10% discount on the Add and Troll kit, then make sure to use the code ROMAN at the checkout. And you can also use the code ROMANRAW at checkout to get 10% off of your full reports when you upload your data from another company to Adentro. And yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video though. Hopefully you did enjoy a little bit of a deep dive into the genetics of Roman no fuckers. That's me. Worldwide celebrity whose DNA everybody definitely cares about. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, then please make sure to slap the like on it. Thank you guys once again for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.